Hey peeps, welcome to the Crafty Witch UK. My name is Arietta, and today, oh, I fell down a Timu hole again. Um, so yeah, uh, recently, if you've been watching my channel, you'll know that I've got back into my miniatures obsession. Uh, I've been working on my miniature house. Um, you can check that out in my live. I'll pop a little link if you want to go and see me working on that. Um, more of that to come in future videos but um yeah it just it's really sparked my interest in miniatures i've always loved tiny things anyway so i'm back on that whole thing so then i was on timu and i saw some tiny things and they were cute and they were cheap and so yeah we bought this anyway the result of that is a few things but Today we're going to look at this little pile here because I don't know what's in these. Um, I have one bag which is 20 tiny dollhouse food and drink items, I believe. And then I have five dollhouse blind boxes. So I figured we'd open them together. So um, yeah, let's, let's move those to the side and we'll start with this one. I don't I don't have a huge amount of hope for these, but they were very cheap. This bag of 20 mixed miniatures um, was £2.98. So if I can even use half of these things, then all good. And I've not lost anything. So let's get inside, see what we have. Um, right, actually, I'm going to, just to give us... A nice plain background to look at these on oh there's one <laughs> one desperate to be seen i'm gonna move you in a bit there we go now we can see things this is super cute this first one that's fallen out it is a oh let's get you in shot excuse my nails that need painting so it is a peach rice wine that is very cute i like that a lot um I, I'm not good at scales, um, but let me, I'll pop it on here. So it, it's an inch and a half. Um, yeah, inch and a half tall. Um, so, yeah. Um, it would be fine, I think, for, I think it's more like a Barbie type scale. Oh, I've got two things that have come out. Uh, one is a flat-backed cabochon um, of a, uh, looks like a hot dog wrapped in pretzel uh i think i've seen those before in my life of course the flat backed stuff sorry i'm not really in frame uh flat backed items are not great for all miniature things they can be used if you're making up sort of a shop um but because they're not fully three-dimensional um or three-dimensionally complete i should say um they don't work for all uses but I'm sure we can come up with something. And this other item is, it's pink, but it's a Coca-Cola bottle. Um, so, yeah, I don't know. I think certainly you could always, any of these things, you can make new little labels for, and you could paint them. So I'm just gonna pop you off to the side there. Let's see what else we've got. Uh, oh, two more, oh, okay. <laughs> A pink thing and a not pink thing again. This, what on earth is this? This is, I guess it's supposed to be a little pastry. Is it a pig? Is it a chicken? I'm not sure. Answers in the comments, please. <laughs> what do you think this is? It definitely has a kind of pastry look to it. But yeah, it's a funny little thing. And we have a pink glittery yakult, purple lilac-y glittery yakult. Um, so fine the color is all wrong for this um to be yakult but it's cute nonetheless i can imagine um if you you know turning it into a little key ring or something i'm sure that would be very popular uh okay oh i've got three things this time another pink thing um xo i don't know what this is supposed to be um I assume some kind of fancy alcohol um, or I mean it could be a perfume bottle or perhaps some fancy bath oil 
Uh, depends where you put it. You can you could make this into anything that you want. It's a lovely shaped bottle. I could definitely use that. Put pink again. Uh, this is again flat backed, uh, but it is an an ice cream of sorts. It's it's interesting because it looks like it's sort of in it's in pieces, but yeah, almost looks like it's been sort of slotted together. But yeah, fine. Little little ice cream, and I mean this is supposed to be flat backed, but it's definitely not to scale. This rather massive fried egg, if you look at it next to the, the bottle of wine. <laughs> so, but yeah, all good. So what's that? That's eight items so far, nine, ten. We've got, yeah, little flat back Maggie D chips. And a Rio cocktail. Uh, again, not a brand that I know. If you know any of these. If you've, if you've tried any of these drinks or foods, let me know. It's always fun to find out. Um, but again, these these are lovely bottles that, you know, if you're decorating a shop or a bar or even just, you know, kitchen cabinets, then um, you can paint them up to look like any drink you want. Uh, ooh, a cheese. This is cool. I like this. Yeah. And, and again, with cheeses, scale's not such of an issue because obviously they can come absolutely massive or really tiny. Um, a cheese and a bottle of snow. So uh, if anybody knows, if anybody feels like translating the rest of that, whether it just says snow, I don't know. I will see if I can work it out. No back label on these ones. Right, another two we've got this, again yeah not a dollhouse miniature um could be used for decoration though um could be you know, could become a child's toy or something little apple there and oh, oh we've got um a little bit up there no, crack that bit off a little bit of flashing this is i guess chips in a basket maybe i don't know if this is supposed to be ketchup and they just didn't paint it properly or yeah. but certainly with a little bit of finessing that could be turned into something usable definitely what oh, got three this time so okay little oh, not little not so little sweet packet but very cute colour though. Uh, we've got a. Uh, I'm trying to read that in the. So milk mini, it says. So I don't know what it's supposed to be because um, obviously it doesn't look like a carton of milk. Uh, whether it's milk flavoured chocolate, it's not clear, but it's very big. <laughs> And weirdly, with our milk mini, we also have a tiny a little little bottle, which is not a bad size, actually, for a little baby bottle. Um, grab another couple. Oh, we've got a Volvic water bottle. Excellent. Very nicely moulded. Good clear label. Happy with that one. And this is like... Um, a little bamboo steamer with some um, buns in, possibly. Again, you know, not the best paint job, but you can always add to it. And then you've made it your own and it's unique and you're not, it's not something that somebody else has got. Uh, we've got another silly little lolly. And finally, a tart with... Oh, maybe banana and chocolate tart it's, it's sort of difficult to tell what it's supposed to be um but yeah again definitely with with a, a little touch up on the paint job um these things could be usable so yeah like i say two pounds 98 for those um 
it would be interesting. I sort of wish I'd got two bags now so that I could see if both bags would contain the same items. Um, if anybody else has purchased miniatures from Timu, the same product, um, let me know what you got in yours. And um, yeah, I, I've, if I'm doing another order, I'm not going to order specially because that would be unnecessary but if I'm doing another order I might pop another bag of these in with the order just to see so moving on okay peeps so I've got the mini boxes out of their crinkly plastic now um this one is particularly beaten up so I thought I'd start with this one as I have the least hope on it being not broken um so let's have a look come on open up Oh, I might have to come in the bottom way to get into this one because it's not opening. There we go. Ah, they were glued as well. That makes sense. Okay, so what have we got in this one? Okay, so nothing, nothing broken. Um, I could hear jingling, and that was what was worrying me. But what we've got is a few items, and that was not what I was expecting. I thought it would be one thing per box. So that's interesting. We've got. Okay, so this little thing goes together, I would think. So it's a little little planter, a little uh, window box. It's very cute. Um, needs a little bit of love, but very salvageable. We've got a... Uh, well, it says milk tea on the label. I don't know. I don't think that this is what milk tea would look like. But... Um, a cute little bottle nonetheless we have a little wood effect bowl maybe like a fruit bowl or something and a little teddy so all good not what i expected i don't know what i expected um these were each these were one pound 68 so um It'll be interesting to compare what I got in the bag of 20 items compared to the 168 that I've paid for these four items. Um, yeah, be interesting to work out where the value lies. Um, depends. Yeah, these, these are to open because um, they have been glued. I, I realise, obviously, that's to stop things falling out in transit. Come on, let me in. Interesting. So this one is in a little bag. The first one was not. Um, here we have only one item. It's a cat bus. Um, anyone who is a fan of Studio Ghibli movies, um, particularly Totoro, will recognise cat bus. Um, yeah, not a doll's house miniature in the slightest, but very cool. And I'm happy with that. Um, yeah. Not the tidiest paint job, but still, I don't mind. We love a cat bus. Excellent. Let's see what else we get. Hmm. Okay. In this one, we have a... Okay, another blue teddy. So that's kind of our first double. Yeah, they are the same. Exactly the same little blue teddies. We have a... I don't know. This looks like it should have a magnet on the back or something. It would make a good cover minder, actually, um, for diamond painting. So a little... Is it a cloud? Is it a thought bubble? Who knows? But it's happy. Um, we have a little chocolate tart. Chocolate heart. And a very pointless Alipus. <laughs> Do you want to be in my video? Hey. Right. Um. Yeah. This is. A, I don't know what that is. <laughs> I'm. I'm going to ignore the silly palm tree. That I don't know. I don't know what you do with that. Let's open another one. Puss, your head is in my video. Okay, we've got another single item, I think. Oh no, two items. 
we have what on earth um <laughs> i don't know about this this is a really very poorly made um i don't know it's like a a car but it's made of wood and it's very heavily coated in you can see there's lots of hot glue um holding these little bits on i don't know if anybody recognizes this knows what it's from it's not an item that i recognize um yeah i don't know where i would use that and another teddy bear but at least it's not blue so we have three bears now and our final box let's see Hmm. Okay, let's have a look. We have got another brown bear. Uh, oh, disappointing. We've got a can of Cronenberg lager. Um, Again, with cans and stuff, you can take the stickers off, turn them into any can that you want. So that's fine. And another little Ghibli character. So. Yeah, how strange. So two little Ghibli characters, four bears, weird things. <laughs> food items so yeah I don't know um, when you compare so these these items all together or you could just get all of these bits for £2.98 I don't know it was a bit of fun and I will find a use for all of these um, yeah, the repeats are a bit sad, but that is the chance that you take with a blind box. I do think just be aware that you're not getting things specifically for dolls' houses. You are getting small items, but they're not all going to be suitable for dolls' houses um, in the slightest. So just be aware so that you don't feel like you are wasting your money. Um, thank you for joining me today for this really rather random unboxing um let me know what was your favorite thing out of everything that i got in the mystery boxes what would you be the happiest to receive and what would you be the most grumpy about let me know down in the comments and um please do consider leaving a like share subscribe and until next time stay crafty Purchasing items like this to try wouldn't be possible without the help of my generous patrons. A massive, massive thank you to each and every one of you. Thank you.